My friend took this picture. Whatever I did, our picnics always ended with my mother in a grumpy mood. <laughs> Everyone at high school was so jealous when they saw this photo. You had to have been very lucky going together. <gasps> my eyelids are getting heavy. The white thing to the right. That thing that looks like a dinosaur fossil. When I was a kid, my dad used to bring me here. The first time, the I would. Oh, I hey, hey! Looks like you're falling asleep. Open your eyes. This is only the seventeenth day of no sleeping. Could you turn your face away? Those terrifying red eyes. Why don't you leave me alone? How long are you going to torture me? I want to leave you alone, but I can't. Since long ago when I was a young captain, I couldn't be awake while sailors were asleep. Come on, get up, get out of bed. Don't you have a few days off from work? Go play a little at least.
I know a laptop doesn't fit well in this game, so I'm not going to waste my time. Hi, Miso. Nice to see you come and not making noise. Don't worry. Erica will return in a few days and we'll take... The last time I tried to open the door, I couldn't remember what code I had chosen. I don't feel like thinking about this right now. Maybe sometime later. When I was a kid, every time I wanted to go to a classmate's birthday, I would bring one of these. They say the quality of old vinyl are still better than these new stuff. I feel safer with the map. Did Jack close up this place for good? What's even more odd is that none of us ever tried to find out why. If my name is scared of dogs like I am, it wouldn't have escaped that way. I think many people would like to have a tanuki as their town symbol.
Paris. City of Love. Mimes and guns don't usually go together, but I had an idea that this was no ordinary mime. I'd come across this murderer before and written about him. The costume killer. At least that's what I called him. A burst of Pierre Carchon, humble servant of La France. Pierre Carchon again. His eyes seem to follow me around the room. The police could turn up at any minute. Somewhere there were clues to the murder and I needed to find them. I reckoned that cloth might just turn out to be useful. Even my fingernail wouldn't fit into such a small hole. The cloth was embroidered It was a tube of acrylic paint, French ultramarine. Just the color I was after for my bathroom. I'm Young lady, what are you doing? Oh, this paint. <laughs> it's my favorite color. For God's sake, keep the damn stuff. The door was locked. Pierre Carchon was stiff for the last time. I closed his eyes. It was the least I could do for the poor fellow. I opened his eyes. Best to leave the crime scene as I found it. Some people hate searching corpses for clues. Me, I'm okay with it. Reminds me of an old boyfriend. In his pocket, I found a ticket stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. Taking the ticket meant I tampered with the evidence. There was no going back now. Carchon had been shot. It was one of my hair clips. My favorite, in fact. It must have fallen when I was knocked down. A small round piece of glass had been cut out of the pane. This was a professional job. I didn't want to cut myself and leave blood on the glass. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to keep my DNA to myself. The killer must have used a ladder to reach the window. He was long gone. Guess he folded that ladder up, popped it in his pocket and took it with him.
a magnificent antique table. Aha! Nico, you are just so damn good at this stuff. Instead of comforting Imelda, I was ransacking her flat. Why? Because there was something going on here, and I had to get answers before the cops arrived. And hey, she'd been rude to me, so she had it coming. A key. Maybe a safe key. A fine baroque door. It would look great in my apartment. A modern key on an antique door. It wasn't going to work. The bookcase was filled with obscure first editions.